Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. discuss certain parts of analysis of variance. Today's contents are first we will introduce with an example and then uh, we will see that how one factor experimental data can be represented in tabular form. Then we will discuss the partitioning of uh, 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 data observations for single factor ANOVA and also the models for the data and then how to decompose the sum of squares into treatment effects, error effects and that same thing with an example with data we will explain. So, let us start with the same example what we have seen in earlier lectures. Uh, suppose the engineer is interested uh, to study the methods of improving the ability to detect targets on a radar scope. Two factors considered to be important are ground clutter and type of filter. Response variable is the intensity level at the time of detection that will be that is what is measured. And in this example, we are considering only one factor that is ground clutter, which is having three levels low, medium, and high. For the time being, like earlier uh, in earlier lectures, we assume that this data comes from an experiment uh, that is one factor experiment, and a ground clutter level at low, medium, and high and there are 8 observations or 8 replicates again against each of the 3 uh, factorial settings or 3 treatment levels. So, I also explained in earlier lectures that a use of box plot. So, from the box plot we wanted to know whether there is difference in means as a, and medians when uh, the uh, factor level changes from level 1 to level 2 to level 3. In fact, in this uh, box plot, the median lines are given, this horizontal lines, middle lines and median. So, there can be somewhere mean here, mean here and mean here. So, from this plot, it is visible that there is difference in mean response uh, from when you uh, observe with ground clutter level low to medium to high. But this is a visual one only just and it all it all depends on the scale you are using. So, it is it, it can give you ok you go for some kind of other uh, analysis, but it will not clearly give you that whether the difference is statistically significant or not. And in the right hand side, a scatter diagram is shown. This is just to see that how the data uh, um, behaves um, in terms of the relation between these two variables. Scatter plot is an useful one to, uh, to talk about the relation. But from the scatter plot, again, uh, it all de again depends on the uh, on the response measurement that the scale of the figure. So, here also here from here we are not able to find any significant uh, we are not able to find out much difference between the mean labels. Okay. So, essentially what happened then that if there is one factor experiment let the factor is A denoted by A then this factor has say the A levels 
let a mean level 1 level 2 like a levels so we say i from 1 to a and then against each level you have n replications j equal to 1 to n and each of the response responses each of the responses now can be denoted by y i j what does it mean this is the response for the jth observations when experiment done for ith treatment level ith treatment level <coughs> what i mean to say your factor a is having level 1 level 2 like level i similarly suppose level a and there is replicate replicate that denoted by j j equal to 1 2 3 like j like n so then the general observation is y i j so ith level jth observation that is what i have written here okay and this is what is the what is the rep representation of data when you do experiment you do experiment for one factor experiment again which is having a levels each having n of n replications then your data set will be y11 y12 y13 so like y1j like y1n this is y21 this is y22 y23 y2j y2n then yi1 yi2 yi3 yij yin in the same manner y a 1, y a 2, y a 3, y a j, y a n. So, so, that means, the number of observations, total observations, number of total observations, if I say equal to n, then this is nothing but a level times n, a n, a level time, times n. Okay. Now, one factor experimental data. So, let us see the slides. So, you see this this is data representation for one factor experiment. The what I have given in the in this this slide this is nothing but data representation for one factor experiment. You may be interested in total here. You may be interested in average across each level here. So, by total what I mean to say suppose the ith total you can write down y i dot. So, then one first row total total is y 1 dot y 2 dot like here y a dot. If you want to get average then you write y 1 dot average y 2 dot average y i dot average y a dot average and then someone may be interested to know the total of all the observations y dot dot and grand grand um, average y dot dot bar okay so you know how to compute average how to make total all those things so this is what uh, is there but uh, we, we will proceed further so i i want to go to the slide so in general there are a levels of the factor that is a treatments and n replicates you see n replicates 
and you all know this is a random experiment random experiment so how to make randomization that also we have discussed in first few lectures so this is a complete randomized design case i told you n total a n total runs and here we can consider two kinds of models here at fixed effect effect mean the treatment fixed treatment otherwise random treatment random effects so we will discuss later okay so why we are we have done this experiment we have done this or we will be doing this experiment to know that whether the means across different level levels differ or not that is what we want to test it will be a hypothesis testing case where you have more than two levels or two treatments and you want to test whether the mean response across the different treatments are equal or not so equality of treatment means across various treatment levels okay so with this we will now formally define the single factor model so single factor model will be defined like this y i j equal to mu plus mu i uh, okay mu plus so i'll write like this tau i plus epsilon i this is more general one so mu plus tau i is basically mu i that also we can write but okay we'll start with this mu plus tau i so what is the y y i j this is a general observation what does it mean by general observation means the response value for the jth observation and when x on ith experiment level or on on the experiment of ith level of factor a then what is this mu this is known as grand mean what is this tau i tau i is because you have one factor the factor effect other way we can say the treatment effects what is this portion this is the this is the random error part so if tau i is fixed it has a particular effect that is constant then this model will be known as fixed effect model fixed effect model okay now this in this diagram so what is i i equal to 1 to a what is j j equal to 1 to n this is our this is our model that is one factor anova single factor anova model okay so here very important concept is this this is the random error this random error means it has certain distribution so epsilon ij will be normally distributed with zero mean and sigma i square variability if if the variance across the different levels uh, we have a with 1 2 like a levels if the variance of of y when experiment done is a, was is done at the factor level a at level 1 then the variance is suppose sigma 1 square then this will be sigma 2 square and this will be sigma a square or ith case this will be sigma i square then we will write like this okay suppose we do one kind of assumption here that okay that sigma 1 square equal to sigma 2 square equal to sigma i square equal to sigma square then we can write that this epsilon ij is 0 sigma square that means the response values y values across different levels so level 1 n observation level 2 another n observation if you if you have 
substantially large number of, uh, of the experimental data, you will find that the from the, the variability across these values, across these values, across these values, across these values will remain same, all similar, almost equal. Then we can assume that variability across different of y across different level is equal that is sigma square then this error term this error term follows normal distribution with mean 0 and sigma square variance this is a very very important assumption later on i when i talk about assumption we will come back to this but this is known as homo scedasticity assumption scedasticity okay those things we will discuss later on so, as I told you that mu plus mu i, so I you can also write that y i j equal to mu y plus epsilon i j. So, then what is mu i j? Mu y equal to mu plus tau i. So, this one is known as partitioning also. You see that the total observation a particular experimental run y of values what you got you partition into grand mean into fixed factor effect plus random error. So, it is partition into three components overall mean, factor effect and error. So, overall mean plus factor effect is giving you the mean at each level. So, mean at this level is mu 1, mean at second level is mu 2, mean at i level is mu i. So, then what we are saying that this tau i equal to mu tau i equal to mu i minus mu you see from here tau i equal to mu plus mu. So, mu i is mean at is of y at each level, level ith level mu i if i equal to 1 this is the first level ok. So, so this is what is our uh, model data representation and model and here interestingly what is happening suppose I plot the data across this side y suppose this is my mean suppose you are you are talking about these are the treatments treatment our treatment is a. So, at different level first level second level like your it is ith level so maybe eighth level. So, everywhere there will be a mu. So, I first level mean may be here which is mu 1, second level mean may be here which is mu 2, ith level mean may be here which is mu i, eighth level mean may be here which is mu a. So, these are the mean at of y of y at different level and then average or mean of the means is the grand mean. Then what is the effect? Effect is the difference between these two. This is tau 1. So, this one is tau 2, this is tau 3, tau i and this one will be tau of a. So, it is it is nothing but difference between individual level mean and the grand mean. Again grand mean can be computed from the individual level means like grand mean is sum total of mu i by a i equal to 1 to a. Okay. So, this, this uh, restriction or constraint this leads to sum of tau i equal to 0 i equal to 1 to a means this plus this plus this plus this if you do you will get it 0. Okay. Obviously, we are considering equal sample size equal sample size that is n across all levels of levels of a. When you are doing experiment you are considering equal. Okay. Otherwise, what will happen? If the sample size varies, sample size is n i, i equal to 1 to 1 to a, then it will be i equal to 1 to a n i tau i, this will become 0. 
okay so this is the, this is the restriction and this help us in doing many things now come back to the slide so in fixed effect model we consider that tau i is fixed you just see that we think mu as uh, and then in the in the random effect model you see here tau i are random variables and knowledge about particular ones investigated is relatively useless instead hypothesis is tested about the variability of tau i so you don't have fixed uh, value for tau i it's a it's it's a random one it's a random variable so instead of mean we will you will be interested in the variability of tau i okay but anova is analysis of variance even though it is analysis it is named as analysis of variance but it actually tests the equality of population means okay so so that means when you say y anova model you have to say y i j equal to mu plus tau i plus epsilon i j and then definitely you will be saying termination tau i equal to 0 i equal to 1 to a or i equal to 1 to a n i tau i equal to 0. Hmm. This you can also write like this y i j equal to mu i plus uh, epsilon i j and epsilon i j is normally distributed 0 and sigma square sigma square that is that is what is what we have learned so far. Okay. So, now, now come to the point that you have done the experiment. Once you have done the experiment, you will get this kind of data. So, the uh, well uh, the row of interest for us now is this row, this row ith row to do some kind of manner. and the very important observation y i j which is basically object. So, if if you say if you say that okay y i j is this from the from the from the population point of view when experiment is not done this is what is the model. So, once experiments are done you will get some data y i j then what you require you require the mean value that will be y dot dot bar I have given you the grand mean this is my grand mean and these are individual means or averages. So, instead of mean you can write grand average also and individual level average. So, this one will be estimated by this and this tau i tau i you will be basically y i dot bar minus y dot dot. Why? Because we know mu i equal to mu plus tau i and tau i equal to this. So, mu i is mu i is estimate is mu i dot bar mu is estimate is this this. So, plus this epsilon i j. So, y i j epsilon i j now you may write this uh, this one as epsilon i j you may write y i j minus y i dot bar first mu corresponding to this tau i corresponding to this epsilon i j corresponding to this each right hand both side left hand side right hand side equal y dot dot bar this will be cancelled this will be cancelled y i j equal to y i j. So, this is known as partitioning the observation. So, what we have done here then we have written y i j equal to y dot dot bar plus y i dot bar minus dot dot bar plus y i j minus y i dot bar. So, one observation single general observation is partitioned into grand average treatment effect error. So, from here we will derive a concept called sum square. 
that is known as S S. So, what you do? You just write down y i j minus y dot dot bar left hand side, then right hand side will be y i dot bar minus y dot dot bar plus y i j minus y i dot bar. If you take square, then you have to square it and then take summation, then you sum here. So, as i and j both are there. So, i stand from change from 1 to a, j stands from 1 to n. Suppose, I will write j equal to 1 to n here. So, you write j equal to 1 to n here. Similarly, another summing will be there not only across not suppose if I put 1 j equal to 1 to n that means, you are summing up y 1 plus i 1 plus y i 2 plus y i 3 like this. So, you are this you are subtracting by y bar and then making square and summing up. So, if you make then there is another another portion is 1 to a. So, that also you sum up. So, i equal to 1 to a then another sum i equal to 1 to a. What will happen if you expand this? Now, see the slides. See what I have written here i equal to 1 to a j equal to this square. Now, this one when you take double sum, then you see you are doing this and finally, this portion left hand side is becoming a n a uh, n times i equal to 1 to a y i dot minus y double dot bar double bar square plus this here double sum is there. So, this force 1 when each of the in observations are subtracted by their uh, grand mean and taken square and make sum of this is the sum square total. This is sum square total S is total. Now, here what is happening each of the treatment means are subtracted from the grand means or grand average. Each of the treatment average is subtracted from the grand average and then you have taken their sum a square and sum across all the levels and uh, then this one is nothing but sum square treatment and rest is sum square error. Okay. So, from here to here is a very simple one this quantity remains valid this quantity remains valid and this quantity becomes 0 because j equal to 1 to n if you sum up here you will find out that this quantity will become 0. So, one quantity this y i uh, this y j one of this two will be this one will be I think this one or this one will become 0 and ultimately this is a simple one it is not a big one a big issue because if you write j equal to 1 to n then this will be n y bar square will be there and this also will be n y bar square this n y bar minus n y bar that will become vanish that will become that will finish and you will be having total sum square equal to treatment sum square equal to individual sum square. So, what you are getting then you will get S S T equal to double sum y i j minus y dot dot bar square. You will get treatment equal to n 1 sum i equal to 1 to a y i dot bar minus y dot dot bar square and there will be s s error again double sum then uh, this is nothing but y i j minus y dot bar this square. Okay. So, in interestingly then what we have achieved s s t equal to s s treatment plus s s error this is known as sum square decomposition of sum squares decomposition of sum squares. Okay. So, we will see the exa <laughs> one example here and ultimately in ANOVA as I told you that in ANOVA we test null hypothesis that mu 1 equal to mu 2 equal to mu a and alternate hypothesis is mu i not equal to mu k for at least one pair. 
mu 1 mu 2 mu 3 like this for at least one pair they, there is a there is a difference this so this one we we test this is the hypothesis what hypothesis we test what are the hypothesis null hypothesis is all means are equal alternate hypothesis is at least one pair is not equal so that is h1 uh, h0 and h1 here okay so we will see how the sum square decomposition is taken place you just see this slide here we have eight number of observations and you find out the total and their average second average like this average this is grand average we use this formula and we got that ss ss e equal to 1632.25 ss treatment is coming 353.08 this is nothing but using this formula only so what is y i j suppose 90 minus grand average 95.33 this square is this this square 90 minus 95 point like this then 86 minus this so make it and square it and the, this one this square so every observations will be subtracted by their respective by the grand mean grand average and then square it and then when you make the total you will get this value okay you will get this value now for the treatment how many treatments are there there are one to three treatments so what is this three treatment treatment average minus grand average its square then second treatment average grand average square third treatment average grand average square then take the sum you will get ss treatment like this okay so essentially what we basically calculate we calculate that ss treatment and uh, SS total and then SS error will be the SS treatment minus SS total and accordingly you will get the values. Second one is uh, like this uh, another of here what happened this is the first example what I have given you in uh, the first uh, from the first class onwards we have given it this is the second example. Second example is here an engineering interested investigating the relationship between RF power setting and each rate for this tool. And here basically response variable is the each rate and you are using different power, power 160 watt, 180 watt, 200 watt and 220 that means 4 levels. So there are 5 replications and this is what are the experimental data coming and then these are the total and average now find out SS ss error ss total uh, treatment and ss total okay so here uh, let me give you um, tell you that there is there is some typographical mistake so please follow this when you are talking about sst that means each of the observation is subtracted by the grand average and then that difference is taking sum, uh, taking squ uh, squared and then overall sum. When you are talking about SS treatment, every label average is subtracted from the, from the grand average, then they are, uh, that difference is squared and then using this, you are getting this. And when you are talking about SS error, that means you are every average value uh, y i j sorry y i j not y i j bar y i j every observation is subtracted from their respective from their respective label average and then this one is summed up what does it mean here 575 minus 551.2 then 542 minus 551.2 so in the label one all these observations are subtracted by the respective average and then that one is squared and summed uh, and summed up. So, the similarly there this one there is that four different levels 4 into 520 observations will be summed up uh, using this formula will be summed up and you will be getting SS error. Okay. So, what is the mistake here uh, typographical mistake here is there is a bar here y i dot bar. Okay. So, if you if you here it is okay, 
y i dot bar minus this the three levels here one bar is missing please put that bar y i dot bar ok. So, I hope the calculations are correct it is done in the excel if there is a mistake please please mention uh, in the in the discussion forum please check. So, this is what is decomposition of decomposition of some squares. So, I, I hope that you understand. So, what we have discussed? We have discussed one factor, one factor C R D complete randomized design. Then we have we have seen that data representation in tabular form. Then what we have seen that the ANOVA model, then we have seen that uh, that is the effect model, this is what is the effect model or you can write this one as mu y plus epsilon i j this is mean model. And then we, we here also we have said that this error is normally distributed with sigma square 0 sigma square. And then uh, we have seen that a general observation how it will be partitioned to how it will be partitioned to uh, different component. Different component from there we have seen that how the sum square total is partitioned into sum square treatment plus sum square error and we have given a general formula for calculation of this, this equal to double sum y i j minus y dot dot bar square equal to n i equal to 1 to a y i dot bar minus i double dot square plus here it will be double sum y i j minus y i dot bar square and here it is j equal to 1 to n a i equal to 1 to a i equal to 1 to a j equal to 1 to n ok. And then I, I have given you two example one is the that uh, that is radar scope example where ground clutter level a has three levels and another one is the each each rate etch each rate example where basically some some um, power is used 160 180 200 and 220 so that means the factor a has four levels 1 2 3 and 4 four levels up there and then how to compute the different things sst sst means it is given to you please practice it thank you very much and i have taken all those this lecture the, those things uh, from the book design analysis of experiment by B. C. Montgomery, Willie H. Edition. Thank you very much. We will go to next, we will see next lecture.